Chemistry, Molecular Cell Developmental Biology student at UCLA. And um, just to tell you a little bit of my background, I came to this country when I was eight years old with my single mother parents, and um, it was difficult. Um, school was not my friend. Um, I finally learned English when I was a freshman in high school, and um, it was just it was a, a miracle that um, when I was considering college, I didn't cross my mind because um, um, I found out I was undocumented in freshman year in high school, and I tried to take community college courses, and they asked me for if I had um, permanent resident number or social security number, and I did it. So they were charging me 100 bucks to take a four unit class. I had to pay out of state tuition, and that was just um, that kind of like hit me and say, wow, this is reality. And then I, when it came to college applications, um, college was not crossing my mind. I got accepted into like schools like Berkeley, UCLA, um, and other schools, but it just they didn't cross my mind because uh, it was just too expensive and I couldn't afford it. So um, I was fortunate to to like know that there were um, private scholarships that I got and I was able to pay my first quarter at UCLA. And um, it was it, it was interesting. Um, like I, I, I started to come here from Inglewood and um, it was just, you know, back and forth the commute, one hour and 30 minutes, two hours, just trying to figure out all the buses, the traffic. And um, it was just like, it's dangerous commuting. Like um, I remember one time I was assaulted and uh, they like, they try to, you know, take my stuff and I just didn't let them because I needed my laptop to, um, which was, you know, which I won through some contests. And um, I needed that for school and it's just the, the struggles that I had to go through. I didn't pay my books the first three weeks and um, I didn't know how to read, how to study. It was just, and UCLA, I thought it was easy, but it wasn't, it was it was challenging. Um, since I'm a science major, it's um, much more, a little more competitive that I, that I noticed. And um, I was, it was just a really struggle, like worrying about tuition and then the community and then not eating every day. Like, cause there were times where you, I didn't eat cause um, I didn't want to spend money. Cause that was my tuition and um, I just, it was just really uh, a really hard experience that I had to keep pulling through and ideas and you see like they helped me so much and um, the support that I needed like it was just really I wasn't the only one and there's students right there that are also like full-time commuting even working full-time and it's just they're amazing because their grades are like excellent so we need, really need all that help that we can get the dream will help us um, just like get a path towards legalization so we can not worry about paying um, paying so much like paying out of our pockets to, to, through works through jobs that honestly that like, take take so much so much time out of our schedule and we cannot do as well as we can academically and um, this is my I'm I'm hoping for spring quarter to go back um, I'm a part-time student that means that I only take 10 unit classes because the increase in tuition fees don't allow me to become a full-time full student because it's too expensive. And um, I have to pay out of my own pocket in scholarships. I, my mother cannot contribute at all. She makes less than $10,000 a year. So it's just, you know, I, the tuition I used to lay a year is over $10,000. So that's that's uh, that's that's how you know expensive it is. And um, that's also like my little sister, she just got accepted to UCLA. And um, yeah, if, which was, you know, and Berkeley and all this other UC but the thing is that she, she, it's not in her mind to go at all. She's considering a, a community college because it's so expensive. The tuition is so expensive, and she cannot. She doesn't want to. Um, she doesn't want to commute because um, she knows that it's hard, and she doesn't know she can handle it because the community takes a lot out of you. Like my commute was since I couldn't afford the rent I used at Inglewood anymore. I commuted from Azusa area, and that's three hours back and forth to UCLA every single day, and going back. Five hours up to if there was raining or traffic so that's that's the life we have to go through as undocumented students so the dream will help us like we need this because i want to do cancer research how many people want to do that how many people like how many students actually regardless if i want to do that like actually want a professional career we have gone through so many things and we are ready to fix the system that um that we know how the system works and we know we can fix it whereas there's other students that read about it and kind of understand but they don't know because they haven't been through it so we have so much to offer to the United States and they're not, you know, taking advantage of us. So we're, we're here telling, give us a dream act because then we will give you everything we have and we will contribute and become productive members of society. So I urge you to all, please support the dream act, you know, talk to the congressman. Um, the key thing is try to like promote it to everyone you know, talk to them. 
because that's what we need. We need awareness. We need people to know and realize that this is an important issue that it's affecting students right now and that we need it at the ASAP. We need it as fast as we can because there are students taking quarters off. Like, I don't know if I'm going to come back next quarter. I'm still trying to find money for the tuition that I have to pay, which is like 2200 which I know it's not a lot, but compared to full time, but still it's a lot that I have to, you know, look for because I don't have anything. But um, just I urge you please to really support the Dream Act and um, awareness, tell everyone you know, all your friends, co-workers, and just tell them that there's two sides to that, that it's not, like there's a lot of bad publicity, especially in the media, and no, we're not here to like, we're not criminals, we're not illegal, we're here, we're, we're American, and we are, this is our home, and we want to contribute as much as we can to it. That's it, thank you.